right, all right. I saw you. You took care of those jerks that thought they owned the plane. Oh, wait, is this a woman? Eh, whatever. That thought they owned the plane. We were all fed up with them. The horseback hoodlums. This is a small token of my thanks. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I just wanted to kill him. I didn't actually realize that was the quest. <laughs> well. So much for what I was planning to do with this episode. It's done. One use of Urbosa's Fury. Just me playing around. <laughs> I complete the quest. That was going to be a main part of this episode. <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we fully combed the Gerudo Highlands, uncovering a grand total of nothing. Well, we got the Sasakai Shrine, but that's just about it. And then we ended off the episode by going to the Outskirts Stable, where we t uncovered the Rota Ooh Shrine, which was a, a pretty interesting take on shrines. I've... I've never been that stumped to actually to discover how to finish the shrine before. Usually we're trying to figure out how to open up the gate, but the entire puzzle of the shrine was getting to the the monk. And this episode, we are going to be doing a bit of a aesthetic quest. It's not even a quest in the game. It's just something that I've wanted to do. And that is accumulate all of the, the uh, weapons, all of the champion weapons and put them in our house. Once again, not really something that is a quest in the game. I just want to get it done. I think it's, it's cool and it sounds cool to have all those really cool weapons which aren't really that good, but they're unique just sitting in our house. So let's go over to the, to the Zora's Domain and get this done in order of appearance. Starting with the Light Scale Trident. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So, tell me what it is that you desire. That's weird that this isn't blanked out. Uh, your being overflows with vigor. There is no need to increase your stamina wheel further. Increase your heart containers? Well, that's the only choice I have left. I'm a bit surprised that the option is there to begin with. You'd think that they would just gray it out and let you figure out that you have the maximum amount of stamina that way, but they don't. Weird. Well, we have, uh, how many heart containers? It's, it's kind of hard to count those things. You lose track easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 18, I think. Pretty cool, but that's not why we're here. The reason why we're here is to take an old geezer or an old shark up on his his offer. This guy works on tools or uses tools in the shop area. And if we talk to him with the Zora spear, you are here. What do you need? I need a light scale trident. The light scale trident. Uh, I somehow felt it had disappeared from the world. Shall I remake it for you? Yes, please. In that case, I will need a Zora spear, one diamond, and five pieces of flint. Ah, I see you have brought me the materials I require. Shall I remake that weapon for you? Yes, please. Diamonds are rather hard to come by. Are you sure about this? Yes, as, as proven last episode, I now have an unlimited supply of diamonds. Understood. I'll get to work right away. <gasps> Phew, that was rather difficult to make. Please take good care of it. Lightscale Trident, a spear of peerless grace cherished by Zora champion Mifa. Although Mifa specialized in healing abilities, her spearmanship was in a class all its own. Now I could get the the ceremonial spear, but as far as I remember, it's just a carbon copy of this with higher power. But again, I'm doing this for the aesthetic. And now that we have accomplished that aesthetic, let's travel to the Goron City, where we can obtain Daruk's weapon. Pluto! It's still early in the day, but I it's really hot out. Do you need something? I need the Boulder Breaker. If you ever lose the Boulder Breaker, just go talk to Rohan the Blacksmith. 
He'll be happy to help you out. The Boulder Breaker once belonged to your noble ancestor. In other words, it was Daruk's. There's even a rumor that Daruk used, to, used it to fan himself sometimes. Was there something else you needed? It's another scorcher today. It seems as though Rohan is a bit of a late riser, as I could only track him down, well, I could only find him awake after noon. And with a cobble crusher that I had obtained from in uh, around one of the, the the buildings, I can show it on screen. It's it seems to be always there, sort of like the the silver longsword at the Zora's domain. It's just always there whenever you you uh, warp in. I can get my boulder breaker. Looks like you don't have a boulder breaker. If you want a new one, I'm gonna have to have a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and a diamond. Diamonds are a precious ore you can't easily find even around these parts. You sure you want me to do this? Yes, please. Right, I'll get you started then. Wait over there. I must say I did a great job. Go on, take it. Boulder Breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. Which Link has, because I'm not sure if you know what this means, Rohan. But I, I can swing this thing like no one else can. Also, it's 5 a.m. I just realized. It, the time is different. Because I got- I spoke to him at around 1. So it takes physical time in-game to get these made. That's uh, a weird fact, but it's a good touch. It means it doesn't happen instantly. Alright, now for the mo- probably the most difficult one. Down in Gerudo Town. Down, down, down in Gerudo Town. A replica of the helm? That looks good on you. So jealous. It seems that there are unique pieces of dialogue whenever I'm wearing this helm, which is a great touch. Here, let's walk around a few more people. A lot happened, but we are really indebted to you. The champion's arms, ah, here it is, are treasures of the Gerudo, much like the, Gr the Thunder Helm. If anything happens to them, you must let me know immediately about that. You lost the champion's arms. Is that what you're trying to say? Well... I didn't lose her arms exactly, but I lost her weapons. Ha, huh, did you think you could deceive me so easily? The Daybreaker has not- has in fact not been lost. Although it does appear that you have lost the Scimitar of the Seven. Yeah, I think I broke it on Lazalfos. I can't believe you'd lose such a precious item. Entrusted you to- by the Chief, no less. I shouldn't be surprised. I suppose nothing is accomplished by discussing it further. So, what do you want to do? To make a scimitar of the seven, I'll need one diamond, five flint, and a Gerudo scimitar. And I have no clue where to find a Gerudo scimitar. But that is closer than I have gotten thus far. So all I need to do is find a Gerudo scimitar, and then we should have all, well, three of the four weapons. Thankfully, a Gerudo scimitar was in town. Well, actually, a copy of every single weapon, every single Gerudo weapon was in town. Which is really convenient, although I think that's a trend for every single city. I do rec I can think up off the top of my head the locations of a Zora longsword, a Zora shield, a silver shield is what it's called, and then a Zora spear just sitting around in Zora's domain. So I think they do this with every single town. So in the future, when it comes to the Rudo city in probably the northwest, well, in the northwest, then we know exactly where, or we know that we can reforge it easily. So let's reforge the final weapon. Scimitar of the Seven, I need a Grudo Scimitar, one diamond, and five flint. I'll take those materials, now wait here for a bit. Thanks for waiting. This is your new Scimitar of the Seven. Take care of it. Simtar of the Seven, famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. It's said that when Urbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. If you ever find yourself in trouble, you are always welcome to come here. Everyone in this town is your ally now. However, you still mustn't let anyone discover you're actually a vul. 
Man, what some allies they are. Also, this sword looks really sweet. And now that we have this sword, let's hang them up in our house. Sadly, that means we're going to be having to take down some of the best weapons. That's really sad. This was our first blade saw. This was the blizzard rod which aided us so much for about 20 episodes. And this is kind of a, a lame weapon which I actually don't really care if I lose. Because it, it broke almost instantly. So let's take that down and hang up the light scale trident. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then let's throw down... Actually, we don't really... I, I can just grab this. And then hang up the Boulder Breaker, which is probably the best weapon of all of them, considering its power is 60. And let's grab the Blade Saw. Again, one of the best weapons we've ever had. Both of these. And let's hang up the Scimitar of the Seven. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, and then also let's grab the Daybreaker and hang it up uh, right next to its sister weapon. Now, unfortunately, this means that we are one item, one wall hanging short of being able to hang the final, the final weapon from the Rudo. But I, I don't particularly mind it. We're hanging up the best of them and our first three. And really, considering how close the game is from ending once we conquer the the Rudo Divine Beast, it's better that we hang these up now as opposed to one that we're going to have for only a few episodes. All right, with that being done, let's warp back over to the outskirt stable after I upgrade my my champion's tunic. And let's uh, let's do some quests and, and pave the way to enter the next region. I'm glad we got that done. It wasn't crucial, nor was it something that the game suggested that we do, but I saw it in a YouTube comment, not even on my channel, just on some random Breath of the Wild video or something, and it made me really happy. It was a good idea, and I'm glad I did it. So, let's talk to Picongo. Hmm, the stable is surrounded by cliffs, so it lacks striking scenery. Hey, we meet again. Are you at tra out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. What is he draw- I- I've never taken the opportunity to look at his art before, but it's absolutely terrible. What is that? Oh, that horse statue. That- this is at the Sanadin Park Ruins. Yes, there are some park ruins on Safala Hill to the northwest of here. You'll find this horse statue there. What is his art? That's so bad. Uh, maybe it's impressionistic and modern art, I guess. Painting is my passion, but even I can tell that statue is a true masterpiece, unlike my art. It's worth seeing at least once. Okay, thanks, man. I will go do that after I uncover the tower and after I do these quests. Hey, welcome. You sound tired. Is, the, is it that obvious? I'm in, I am into horses, so I got a job with the Stable Association, which is great and all, they dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle, yeah. but they have me working around the clock. I f feel so hazy all the time. Sounds rough. If only I could eat some meat for energy, but the stable meals are vegetarian for the most part. Uh. Uh, what, would, what I wouldn't do for some fresh-caught raw gourmet meat. Ah, gourmet meat. I do not have any. I don't think. I have none. However... I did just come from a place where I can get it. One quick hunting trip later, and if you look at my beautiful inventory, I have... Nine pieces of gourmet meat. Hey, welcome! What can I do? Stuff. Take it. Oh, that meaty aroma. You don't happen to have any raw gourmet meat on you, do you? I'm no freeloader, of course. I'll pay you well if you split it with me. Take it. For real? Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll take one. Does 100 rupees work for you? Oh, that, that works more than enough. This stuff is free for me. 
In Ooh. fact, I would have gladly given it to you. Thanks to you, I'm starting to feel better about this job. I'm going to wor really work my hardest. If you get a hold of any more raw gourmet meat, hook me up. So, wait, have some meat? <laughs> Will he just pay us 100 rupees per piece of gourmet meat? That's amazing! That's absolutely amazing. Thanks to you, I'm feeling better. That's money right there. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but whenever we have some excess to sell off, we, we can just sell it to him. Long ago, a traveler. Tell me, have you seen a pure white horse anywhere? Long time back, my grandfather told me that he once saw the royal family's white horse grazing on Safula Hill. The thing is, just the other day, one of our customers said he saw a white horse on Safula Hill recently. Could it be a relative of the royal family's white horse from my grandfather's day? Well, if you happen to see a white horse on your travels, don't you think you could bring it back to me? Thank you. If you see it, please register at the stable and bring it to me. The white horse on Safala Hill supposedly has a beautiful, pure white coat without any modeling. I hear it's very elusive, too. Good luck. So that's something that can only be accomplished... Okay, that was creepy. It can only be accomplished by... Oh, rumor mill. By exploring the new area. So that means that's the next thing we can do. Well, after we check out the rumor mill, of course. Rumor mill, volume three, read. Time for gossip and news about the past and the future. Today's topic is the weird and wonderful spirit Koroks. At the moment, the night is at its darkest, when even the trees have drifted into slumber. Actually, the time of day doesn't matter at all. Anyway, all throughout the world, you may spot these odd little spirit critters you, as you wander the land. They could be under a rock or way out in the wild, or even just in a suspicious nook that seems slightly not right. Pretty real eerie, huh? Tracy recommendation, three stars out of five jaguars. Okay, well, great. Next thing we can do is just head into the next area, which feels weird considering I've been recording for like 45 minutes now, but I'm pretty sure we're only a few minutes into the episode, so let's go and discover the tower. This guy looks really weird. Hey, 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 you're that traveler who sold me the horse before. Oh, wait. Oh, it's him. Really appreciate that, seriously. Thanks to you, I made it back to civilization. Yeah, and after I got back, I made a nice profit selling it to... Or, I mean, hey, hey, I'm taking great care of the horse, my trust partner. Real great care. Almost blabbed the whole thing. That was too close. Well, actually, I don't care. My horse is magic. As you can see here, it, it has the magical Tron powers. And it can blink in, in and out of his existence at will. So, uh, I have the last laugh. Goodbye. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the tower. Which I'm not sure which of the which of the markers on my map that is. Can't really see either of them. But I guess we can enter from this road. I did think about entering from the Gerudo Highlands. But I think that would just be too unlinear. Like, I'd be skipping out on a lot of stuff that I should be accessing from the road. So, let's ride in here with our Korok mask equipped and see what this new area is all about. It looks very mountainous, but not snowy, which isn't something that we've dealt with too much, but it's something that I look forward to. You know, it feels really weird to be this, this far into the game. Looking at the map, we're kind of entering late game, or end game. There isn't much to do anymore. Like, before it... When, when all, all we had discovered was the Zora region and the Dueling Peaks, the world was our oyster. We could head in pretty much any direction and find something, but now it's not like that anymore. Uh, let's see, where am I? There's a split path, also a Korok, which, as always, whenever I see Korok, you'll probably notice a pretty weird cut because I am going to be cutting these out. Especially considering that Pikmin 2, the, the sister series to this game... Wow, this is a field. Wow, this is a field. It's so big. The sister series to this has already... Well, it, it hasn't exactly ended yet. There's, there's still a little bit left in it. 
Uh, and the reason why I haven't been able to get around to it, many people probably think that the series is over, but the reason why I haven't really gotten around to it is because, simply put, I am waiting for uh, a co-op member to be free in order to record uh, one of the final Versus episodes. And then, uh, after that's done, then... This is a Korok, isn't it? Why, why else would this rock be here? No, it's not a Korok. Okay. But after that, then then I'm going to kind of be set free, uh, because at the same time, I'm also recording a completely co-op Let's Play with this person. So it's going to be the next project, and it was supposed to fall a little bit earlier, but schedules just haven't aligned. Let's see, where's this tower? I don't want to be getting to shrines before I get to the Fable Tower. And of course there's a Korok. But I also don't know where the tower is. I assume it's that, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think it's that. Here, let's let's throw a beacon on that tower. Oh, that that is actually it. Okay. So I'm I'm entering this this place from the opposite the opposite end that I should. So that means we're gonna have to be doing well. I mean, it's not like we've uncovered anything here. Apparently, I've found a boss. I'm not sure. I don't actually remember uncovering that, but apparently I found a boss here. So, I, I guess we'll start from over there. Oh, boy. Thank you so much, Aggro, for stopping. Uh, that... It's either stop or die, and I'm glad you chose the former. This is also one of the biggest regions we've, we've found in a long time, so I expect that we're going to be staying here for quite some time. I mean... We're kind of in the habit of clearing something out almost 100% before moving on. So, thinking about that, and how assume I'm assuming the Divine Beast is in the northwesternmost region, well, there are going to be quite a few episodes before we do that. Oh boy, here's some weird terrain that we're going to have to be traversing. I'm probably going to have to leave my horse here, right at the edge of that bluff, and then just leave her. But thankfully, I, I, at least she can just warp to me. Alright. Where are we going? Also, what is that on the map? You see that I've marked something with a bow and arrow? So down here is some sort of... Okay, there's a shrine. But did you see the marker on my map? I guess that's weird. That's I marked it with a bow and arrow. You'd think I would e have either uncovered it, or or actually, you know, marked it with something not that wasn't a bow and arrow. I, that, that's my code for, um, Lynels. Weird. I actually do have a map code now, uh, because I've, I found out that when it comes to, when it comes to grinding, which I do a lot off screen nowadays, um, I, I have trouble differentiating what on the map is a stone talus, what is a hinox, which are pretty much useless to grind, um, what is a, uh, what else, a guardian. So now what I've been doing is a bone arrow is a, a, a linel, and a shield is a guardian, and a boss symbol is just a stone talus because they're probably the most common. So I, I've been doing that, and it's been working out, because sometimes I just need money. Like, I'm out of money, and I I don't want to be selling off too many gems. Like, I don't want to be empty-handed, especially when it means that uh, I'll have to be doing a lot more grinding whenever I need to upgrade my armor. And so... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. And so I, I've been marking the map, and it's it's been working out very well. I just am kind of worried at this point that I'm going to be running out of markers. Climb up. Oh, this is difficult. Jump! Thankfully, I do have some stamina... Stamina foods. Let's... That restores stamina? Yeah, let's just drink that. that that'll that completely restore everything. Jump over. Oh yeah, what was I talking about earlier? I was saying that after... After Pikmin officially ends, then I'm going to be, going to be set free. That, that's actually very true. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of go crazy once that's done, because I've recorded a bunch of co-op stuff with other people, and I'm gonna have to climb this in the rain, won't I? I've recorded a bunch of co-op stuff with other people, uh, I have a complete co-op let's play that half of it is recorded. Whoa! 
Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well then, I I can take a hint. Uh, and you you I I don't want to deal with. You can die. Please die. In fact, start a fire. And then die completely. <laughs> Problem is with all of these enemies is that there is no opposite element for electricity that I'm aware of. And so I'm gonna have to face tank all this. There are also some really weird rock formations around here, which kind of creep me out, but not as much as the flower ones. The flower ones are really creepy. Okay, I need to get out of here. Ridgeland Tower. Let's get out of here. Okay, come on. Climb. Will I slide down this? Whoa! Oh, this is dangerous. Thankfully, the rain stopped, so I'm not sliding down it. Okay, get out, get out. I need to I need to be rotating here. Oh, no. Actually, no, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't a threat to me. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have a wet... I have an item called the Thunder Helm. And I don't care about these people. They literally cannot hurt me. Here, hit me. Oh, that, that yummy. Yummy. Give me more. Please, sir. Can I have some more? Aw, oh, yummy. I, I love starbursts. Oh, that's actually kind of problematic. Oh, bats will knock me off. Go away, Keys. You can't hurt me, but you can make me lose progress. Ah, oh, boy. Running. Oh, boy. Oh, the keys. Oh, the keys. Uh, do I need to restore a thing here? No, no, I can drop. Restore, 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 kill it. Okay. As long as they don't summon those, then I'm fine. But if they summon those, I have to deal with them. I think they just summoned one again. Get to the top! Uh, and discover this thing! Nope. D discover it. Uh, that was... Whew! Not as bad as it could have been, because I have the, the Thunder Helm. Also, there's someone up with here with me, which I guess we'll be talking to them next episode. And I guess also next episode we'll get around to getting that memory, because that seems like the coolest thing I can get. And it's also the thing that I, I know that, like, I, I know generally where it is, once I get the map names, or the area names. Oh, the third last area of the game? Not counting Hyrule Castle is filled out in our map. Ah, yeah, and I am I am so excited to get around to beating this, and we're probably going to be beating it from a we're going to be going back south and then working our way up because I mean let's face it that we've just, we've explored the southern area of the map, so it doesn't make sense to start at an area that we've barely explored and then go down to a relatively well-known area. So, we're going to be starting down here and working our way up. That is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you would like to share my channel, if you think that my channel deserves more views and more subscribers, then tell a couple friends. That proliferates pretty quickly, and before you know it, you have caused me to gain like 30 subscribers. So tell a couple friends, and you will be surprised by how far that word of mouth goes. Also, Satori Mountain, we've heard some things about. We've been on it, but apparently there's some quest involved with this, because we see it glowing at night. So we're going to be uncovering that pretty soon. But I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and join me next time where we... <laughs> We can do anything. We really can. There's these weird formations here that look like mushrooms. There's a storm cloud over that area. There's the mountain over there that glows at night. There's a memory. There's a shrine down here. There's so many different things we can do. And I am excited to start in on them. Alright, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Which makes the, the dream kind of sad. <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Hold it, hold the phone. We got a quest. Where is it? The, st the white horse on Safala Hill. This is Safala Hill. Is that it?
Oh boy, this, that's kind of sudden. And I'm not sure if that's it, but we're gonna catch it. It doesn't look pure white.